Hello everyone, once again welcome to my channel. Today we are going through an interesting segment on our topic how to choose the right forklift. You might be either a buyer of forklift or an operator, a logistics manager or someone you know who intend to buy a forklift in the near future. Uh, irrespective of your job role uh, in the material handling industry, you may come across uh, certain functional components of the forklift. When I say functional components, these are the basic parts of the track uh, which are essential for its uh, smooth operations. Yes, you will be familiar with the terms mast, carriage and forks. You might be familiar with a common question that your forklift dealer usually asks you uh, regarding uh, the type of mass that you have been looking for. Yes, our topic today will be covering some basics on how to select the most suitable mast. Before I go into details, let me brief to you what do we understand from a mast. Simply speaking, I would like to say that a forklift mast is a series of steel sections. Uh, you know, these steel sections are placed one inside the other. Uh, these sections are either two or three in number. You know, one section is firmly fixed and the other sections uh, can move up and down uh, relative to the fixed section. How do they move? Well, there are some rollers that permit these sections to move up and down uh, relative to the fixed section. You know, there is a common misunderstanding uh, among people that the mass is built to take the load. In fact, that's not the case. The mass doesn't take the load directly and the mass itself can't take the load. You know, the load actually, the load is taken by a lift chain uh, which is powered hydraulically. The lift chain is moved by lift cylinders. You know, they are also called hydraulic cylinders uh, which causes uh, the mass and the carriage to move. The lift chain is moving over a pulley uh, which is mounted on top of the lift cylinder. Uh, one side of the lift chain is fixed to the fore carriage and the other end is anchored to the lift cylinder. Uh, the chain rises over the pulley as the hydraulic cylinder expands. Suppose the cylinder moves say 5 centimeters. Then the forks and the carriage will be moving 10 centimeters because the chain uh, moving over the pulley on both sides and the actual lift will be double. So we can understand that it is not only the hydraulic system uh, that is lifting the forks. Uh, there is a combination of uh, roller chain, pulley, gear system, they are all doing the job. Uh, now let us see what happens when the mass is moving for a longer period of time. Yes, they are subject to wear. And how do we address this issue? Normally, this issue is managed by adding shims behind the rollers. Now let us see uh, how do we classify the mass. The mass are you know generally classified as single stage, two stage, three stage or four stage mass. Uh, since two stage mass you know they are also called duplex mass and three stage mass you know they are also called uh, triplex mass. They are more commonly used in industries here, I would like to focus on these two types only. 
you know in two stage mass there are two sections and in three stage mass there would be three sections as i speak about mass and uh, lifting of load we usually come across a term uh, free lift you may ask your dealer to specify the free lift we know that free lift is a maximum height that the forks can be lifted uh, without raising the mast uh, in duplex mast or in two stage mast the outer section uh, does not move but the inner sections uh, moving and lifting the forks and the carriage in case of a triplex mast you know both the inner sections move and lifting uh, the forks and the carriage you know there are instances where uh, a forklift operator you know asks for uh, higher visibility and uh, he actually mean to have a forklift of two stage mast you know this is because the duplex mast has no lift cylinder in the middle as we can see in case of a triplex mast duplex mast forklifts are simple machines which can lift uh, the load to certain limit uh, especially in areas uh, where there is no ceiling restrictions since there is limitation of lift height you know the two stage mast machines can lift a load closer to the rated uh, load capacity uh, there are most commonly used these kind of two stage mast machines are most commonly used uh, in manufacturing industries uh, cross docking uh, to be used with you know attachments uh, due to their uh, construction and uh, improved visibility you know triple s mast machines are designed to keep lower profile uh, as the mast is uh, lowered or in other, other words collapsed uh, you know three stage mast forklifts are mainly used to load or unload stuff uh, in containers uh, you know even though they are you know other operations in warehousing and logistics is very common uh, the low profile uh, enables it to work uh, inside the container uh, you know the residual capacity of a three stage mast is less compared to a two stage or duplex mast because uh, there is an additional weight of mast or the machine uh, you know in case of a triple s mast uh, some operators report you know poor visibility with triple s mast uh, due to the due, you know due to the hydraulic cylinder uh, in the middle uh, you know however uh, it is the most versatile machine uh, among forklifts uh, in case of poor visibility uh, we can use a wireless camera system uh, to give the operator uh, a variety of different views uh, around the track uh, you know triple s mass forklifts can be seen uh, up to 510 capacity as common and uh, up to 710 in uh, exceptional applications as you intend to purchase a forklift there are four important parameters uh, you should know regarding the mast number 1 maximum lift height or the fork height required uh, to lift the load and uh, it depends upon your application number 2 the maximum height when the mast is fully raised with backrest uh, this is to ensure that uh, you have sufficient clearance uh, in your operations number 3 mast height when the mast is fully lowered this is to ensure that there are no height restrictions for the track you know for its entry or exit number 4 full free lift 
as I said before, uh, full free lift needs a middle cylinder to facilitate movement uh, without raising the mast. This is mostly preferred, uh, you know, when stacking, uh, you know, one load over the other. If your visibility is of importance, then there are other options. Uh, as I said before, you are buying an expensive piece of equipment. It is, of course, not viable to purchase many trucks to meet your seasonal needs. So it is very important to understand your average load requirements uh, in off-peak and uh, peak times. Uh, your load requirements need to be forecasted, you know, to meet with uh, your future needs so that you get the right machine uh, which can be used on uh, every occasion. Yes, you don't have to make this, this decision uh, on your own. We are happy to provide you with an expert advice. Thank you for watching. God willing, we will be meeting uh, soon with the next part. Until then, uh, bye from Tajuddin Kasim. And uh, please let me know your feedback on this video. And goodbye.